first on reflation. Look at this thing, a 10-year bond yield. I mean, it looks like a rollover to you. Doesn't that look like a rollover, Ben? Yeah, I mean, it does. That, that looks like a, a series of four lower highs and a breakdown towards 275, actually, we hit this morning on the 10-year. The question this morning isn't whether or not we had this right. The question is whether or not it's priced in. When people chased inflation expectations and bought uh, everything that they could have bought on inflation expectations in January and February, that was dead wrong. Uh, for the last month, if you have paid attention to the reflation rollover call, uh, you saved yourself a lot of money. Point number two uh, this morning is indeed the NASDAQ. It broke its intermediate term trend line. You changed your mind when the NASDAQ broke the trend, didn't it? That didn't change. You made a lot of money making money buying the damn dips in growth stocks, but this wasn't a dip yesterday. And the S&P 500 last week, that wasn't a dip either. Uh, if it was a dip, I'd buy the damn dip. When something breaks trend and we're at the top of the cycle, Mr. Market is asking you, Again and again, is the cycle peaking? If you can't get you know, oil to break out above 67, you ain't got nothing, baby, when it comes to those inflation expectations that we said would roll over. Being long, anything related to oil, of course, this year has been a certified disaster other than oil itself. Rolling over at that spot was of consequence.